before I get much farther, this is where my day has started as far as project work. I finished cutting out all of the handles for the slat door and I've gone, well, handles for the slat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finished cutting them out and I've gone through and routered all of the edges to smooth them out, make them a little bit easier to, well, a little bit more user friendly. But I've gotten that done. So those are out of the way. Which just means I need to haul them down to the barn and go from that. I gotta get measurements for the south wall. And I've also gotta take the last board down for the east wall. But I figured I'd share. Alright. I'm looking at this south end wall. You can obviously see the gapping where the light's coming in. That also means wind. So, thinking I need a nailer going up along this board here, just to flush it out with this. build it up kind of torn between the top of this board and the top of this one and then try and make a flat surface on the very top of that because taking it all the way up well that would be more ideal would make it extremely difficult to get any kind of insulation installed in there which that literally is just a blanket term more than likely it's going to be some of the hay that's in the barn just to act as well an insulator try and keep this south wall from getting as cold on this side of the pen Uh, I could take it up that high. It would probably help scab over top of some of the damaged area. It'd be a lot of wood though. If I only bring it up about 30 inches or so, be able to make a flat surface on the top of it that'll still keep like that insulated but that would also mean running additional nailers in the back end so that I can secure that properly and having to work around that. So, I'm gonna set my mark at 30 for right now. When I run the nailer, I'll probably just run it full length just uh, cover myself regardless of what I choose to do but if I start at the 30 mark I can at least get a start on this while I try and debate with myself which way I'm gonna wind up going uh, good times okay well figure give everybody a quick before a look at what I'm doing so this is how it looks right now. Got my studding cut. I'm gonna go through and try and reinforce that a little bit. Put a nailer in back over in this corner. I've already got my boards cut and set up so that I can start running them up the wall. So that's what I'm actually going to be working on at the moment. Okay. Alright, so I realize that's not the prettiest, but I did that to space them 
and keep everything a little bit more secure. Also, if that board decides it's going to start cracking or anything, that'll give something to physically catch it. And I have my nailer in. And I ran a couple more supports up and down through here just to kind of brace that if the flooring starts to come down a little bit. <clears throat> At least kind of distribute. But I figured I'd show you my progress at the moment. Still got to start getting those up, which that shouldn't be so bad. And as it stands, I brought them up 33 inches from where the like three inch wood is along the top of the concrete. So it should be relatively close height wise to that wall. But I'll start getting those up here in just a moment. Well, this has been my day thus far. I got the slat door complete. I've got my walls up and I realized as I was putting them up that I picked a good spot on that three inch board on the concrete to judge my height off of. And it works on that end. However, you can see the gap where it doesn't line up going from the first to the second. I had to lower the second one down to compensate for the, well, er erosion and rotting of the board on the concrete. And then the third one I had to keep at the same height on the bottom, but my measurement was a, about an inch in difference on the top, which Honestly, for everything that it's worth at this point, that's minute. And me nitpicking it. But I also had to put in another nailer. Because when I got my measurements, I didn't realize or wasn't paying enough attention to the fact that that upright there is a little on the rotted side. So, put in a new nailer, secured off of that, everything got shifted down just a little bit, which works. And I'm glad I actually had that little bit of cushion there to do it with. But, the wall is up. I'm going to start packing some stuff in behind it to basically build like an insulator. Go from that. Well, that now has hay stuffed in behind it. Hopefully that'll cut out any of the wind that might have been getting through there. Hopefully. I just need to figure out if I'm topping it off right there or if I just need to continue going up. Either way at this one, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just, just need to figure it out so that I can get it not, get it handled. <clears throat> Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to run it up just to act as additional support for that mess because that that's horrifying. But it's actually, it doesn't look as bad as what it does on camera. It still looks bad, but not as bad. Took two wagon loads to fill it up. Well, to fill up that section. So, hopefully that's enough insulation. Okay. 
Hello everybody. I just wanted to apologize real quick for not posting a video yesterday. We had some internet issues on our phones and I just was not able to post a video. So this video is really yesterday's video. We'll get caught up throughout the week. Um, I don't really think there's any footage from today anyways. Um, so we will get caught back up on Tuesday's video that'll get posted. It'll be Monday's footage. Um, but here's a quick video for you. Things Mike's been doing, working on the finishing up the pen in the barn. I do believe you got it finished over the weekend. Um, now he's got some other wood shop projects going on with Mr. Brown. Um, I will have this week kombucha going into its second ferment again. Um, head cheese. We're going to give that a shot again. And then finishing up my turkey broth because it did cool so I could get all the fat and everything off of it. Um, we also will probably have the smoker going again this week possibly for the meat that Mr. Brown bought just to brine to, just to smoke. And then the hams that we got. So I will check in with you guys throughout the week and I hope you have a good one.